Hi, so I've been using this lithium battery here for the past week and I've cycled it five times and I've used the stopwatch to uh, measure the performance. So this battery on average of the five times I've actually timed it lasts about three hours and 42 minutes, which is quite an upgrade to this battery. So um, it is as promised and when I charge it, it takes about three hours three hours and five minutes on average to charge this for three hours and 45 minutes of use. Uh, contrasting this, which uh, uh, it lasts about an hour for this battery and it took about an hour and 15 minutes to charge for this NIM battery. So this is all that is promised here. Um, the other thing I did do was I charged this battery and I left it unused for a week to see if it will hold its charge and even then it lasted 3 hours and 25 minutes so um, it, it does last uh, whereas for this NIM battery once I don't charge it and, and I unplug it for about a week it totally loses its charge and it lasts about 15 minutes 20 minutes uh, so the, the other thing I wanted to go over with this lithium battery is sort of a uh, so some of the unexpected things or or when people buy this they might think that the Roomba would run a cleaning cycle of four hours well the Roomba is actually timed to have a cleaning cycle usually I, I believe somewhere between 45 minutes to like an hour uh, uh, I imagine depending on how many walls it hits or it has some type of algorithm for that so um, the the best thing for these lithium batteries is you have to run this manually so what happens is you'll run this Roomba for 45 minutes or an hour and it might just stop because the cleaning cycles over in which case you have to manually actually push that cleaning button to have run again uh, so I, that's something that some people might not be aware of they might just think um, you know that it'll clean four straight hours that's not true and uh, Mostly the reason for that is more the cleaning cycle of the Roomba than it is the battery. Uh, the other thing about the battery is it'll, after two hours, the Roomba um, light on the top will actually glow amber. And you would think that that means the battery is running out. Uh, whereas for the lithium battery, it actually has another two hours of charge that it could run. So... Um, when you get this lithium battery, you're, you're basically going to ignore the lights on the Roomba. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be green initially, and you're going to clean it for two hours, and then it's going to start glowing amber. And it still does mean that this battery still has two hours left in it. Um, but again, th this is more... This battery would be more advantageous for people who actually run the Roomba manually than actually have it on a schedule. Uh, so for me, I used to have the Roomba on a schedule, but after buying this battery, I just decided, well, you know, I'll just run it manually. I'll, I'll push the button to have it clean. And when it turns off, I'll put it into another room and I'll clean that room for 45 minutes and I'll clean three or four rooms like that, uh, you know, in a row because this battery does last, you know, a good three hours and 45 minutes. Um, but one thing you don't want to do is um, run the Roomba four hours straight. So what I do is I'll run it for an hour and I don't want the Roomba to overheat. Uh, I don't know if there is such a thing, but just as a precaution, I will let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll put it in another room and turn it back on. Um, so, uh, so those are some of the information about the differences between usage or how you would use the Roomba. The other thing with the charging, so when I plug this in, um, as I mentioned, it takes three hours to charge, uh, but it still draws the same amount of wattage. So I notice in my, I have one of those meters that shows how much energy is being drawn uh, during charging. So uh, it takes somewhere between two to five watts when it's uh when it's already charged so it still draws that same amount of uh energy as this one while it's charging just like this nim battery it still takes um 
20, about 25 watts to 28 watts while it's charging. So it's gonna, it, it's gonna uh, kind of uh, take basically the 28 watts in those three hours to charge this one and 28 watts in that hour to charge this one. Um, and I noticed that it is very stable. So what well, one of the concerns I had was more with the safety, whether this would be combustible or stuff like that. But it seems like the electricity is drawing is pretty even and, uh, you know, very steady. So it seems fairly safe to assume that, you know, that this does have some type of regulator or it doesn't spike or anything like that. Um, so, so I, I think out of, uh, you know, my testing, it, it's gone fairly well. And I would definitely recommend this lithium battery simply because, um, you know, all the concerns I had, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with. So, um, as far as, oh, uh, so when, when the battery does run out, the blinking light on the, Roomba would with the docking light would start blinking and it will dock so that happens in around three hours and 40 minutes three hours 45 minutes for this lithium battery so it still knows to even though it doesn't know even though it blinks amber and it doesn't know that there's two hours left when there is when it is time uh, to dock and to know that this battery has been drained it does know to dock so, um, let's see what else. So, I, I mean, all in all, uh, definitely I would buy this battery and, uh, you know, especially when it does have the 800 power cycles versus the 200 power cycles of this battery. Uh, one thing to note that I did mention, um, you know, for the 560s, there was a question of whether this fits and it actually does fit um, it's a little bit of tighter fit I, I didn't have to manipulate anything so my model here is the 560 Roomba and it fits perfectly and the contacts are fine I don't have to put some type of clues to make it fit uh, one thing to note is that because it is a tighter fit it's about two millimeters wider which is very minimal but it does make the tighter fit when, when you're when you're trying to fit the um, top here, it's a tighter fit up here, so you're gonna have to push harder uh, to make it fit. But you know that that's not really a concern because um, you know it does fit, and it seems like it's uh, still a perfect fit. It's just um, you know slightly something to be aware of. So, but all in all, that's about it, and uh, I hope this information helps you. And uh, thank you for watching.